Hey there, Vernacular Faithful. Redcoat here, and this is the Live Starter Podcast. For this cast, we'll be talking about various Kickstarters that have caught my interest over the uh, over the past month or so. My intention is, if there's enough interest in this particular type of cast, or you know, I see enough people walking around it, or if I just feel inspired, I'll do these on the fifteenth of each month and uh, highlight different starters that have either started or going live or, you know, have a few days to go. <coughs> so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. Uh, it's already on the screen here. It's Johnny Lion Face, a twisted action RPG. The name itself just caught my interest, and the art style is pretty unique here. Uh, as you can tell, as you can see, it looks, uh, well... <laughs> this is already catching my interest. I'm seeing all of this stuff happening on it. Well, let's see what they say about it. It's a story-driven action RPG with a deep build and customization system. 12-plus playable and unlockable characters. Okay. And each with their own personalities and abilities. Looks like they've got a demo that you can check out on the Steams and a Discord and a Twitter. Ah. Their uh, social media game's on point. <laughs> All right. Now, this looks really awesome. So, I would highly recommend this. I think I would recommend checking this guy out. What do we got? They're uh, roughly $1,400 away from their goal. they got 19 days to go. So, there's still time to get that groundswell. All righty. Well, let's take a look at another one here. Uh, da -da -da. Cairo... Let me make sure I spell that right. Cairo Scuro. 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 There we go. <laughs> Get in there. All right. Cairo Scuro. So I've been seeing this one on Twitter, uh, around Twitter a lot. And uh, it's looking like it's actually getting pretty close to its goal. It's got another... Hmm. Roughly five hundred, uh, well, roughly five hundred dollars to go. Mm, not bad. So, what is this? So, this guy is at least from what I've seen of their trailer. It is kind of a Souls-like, but it's two D. You know, kind of like Salt and Sanctuary, but it's cute and things like Hollow Knight. Uh, I've been seeing a lot more of these kinds of games show up, but uh, this one's got uh, this one's got a neat little art style. I do like aspects of the I do like aspects of the uh, character design, and particularly the presentation is uh, pretty unique. Just everything in shadow, with uh, um, with various elements of color being mm, minimally used to maximal effect, as I will put it. So yeah. This one seems. Uh, this one seems like if you're into those, if you're into Metroidvanias with a darker turn, um, or as they say, the the souls like, this might be one for you to check out. They got 13 days to go, uh, and uh, you know, 500 dollars to get there. So, I'm I'm thinking they might get there, but you know, you never know unless you actually give them their give them your support. So, let's take. A look at another one here. Geno Kiddies. Geno Kids. Ha ha ha. Geno Kids, a cooperative hack and slash. What even is this? I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Just basically saying, okay, <laughs> you came here. What am I looking at? And uh, what I'm looking at is quite awesome, actually. Look at that. Mm. That looks delicious. Uh, so it is a hack and slash, and it's looking like it's following it's following certain aspects of the Devil May Cry or uh, formula, kind of a spectacle fighter. Um, I like the art style. It makes me think of The World Ends With You or uh, Brave Fencer Musashi, the second one, not the first one. Uh, I mean, Brave Fencer... Uh, I'll talk about that at another time, what those games are. But uh, I like the art style. 
Um, I like a lot of what's going on here. And uh, this is a very attractive little game. So yeah, I think this one would be worth your, uh, worth your while, taking some time to support it. They've just started, 27 days to go. They got 8,000 of their goal, and they've got... I don't feel like mathing that. They've got a ways to go. So if you want to see this guy show up, if, um, you know, show up on the, uh, on the Steams or whatevers, the Steams and the Switch specifically, go ahead and get in there and support them. I think this guy, I think this one's going to be pretty fun to play with, uh, actually. So, check it out. Now, what is next on the list? It's a little thing that's called Sunhaven. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, 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 bump. Sun Haven, Haven of the Sun. So, did you like Stardew Valley? How about Harvest Moon? Here's another one to add to your collection. The art style is particularly cool. I really like that. It's uh, got, the, got that chibi aesthetic, but it's super detailed and very, very colorful. And it looks like it's got a lot of uh, got a lot of cool lore to it. <clears throat> I see a little animal man there, <laughs> Mr. Donovan. Uh, looks like they've got their uh, looks like they've got their social media on point. Mm -hmm. This one kind of speaks for itself. If you like Stardew Valley, if you like the um, if you like Harvest Moon, if you like the the farming simulate uh, farming relationship simulation things. Set in a fantasy world, uh, the fantastical fant fantasy world with amazing little art. Uh, I would say uh, check this guy out. So it looks like they have, let's see, 4,000, 14,000? Uh, roughly 14,000 to go. Yeah, four, to put it on to 40, 40, no, 8,000. Ah, I can math, I swear. Uh, and they've got. 12 days to make it getting close to the uh, getting close to that groundswell territory you know the, those last few days where you got to get that Kickstarter rush but hey every little bit counts so if you want to see this one show up you know what to do get in there donate so what else have we got on uh, the list The last stand. All right, this guy's only got five days to go, and it is well. It says it on the tent. Single player post 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 apocalyptic zombie adventure. <laughs> No, it's not. It's not after the apocalypse. It's after after the apocalypse. You know, apocalypse, the after story, hence the name aftermath. Uh, speaking of aftermath, or rather math, thirty-eight thousand of the fifty thousand gold. So then you take the two, so two thousand. But uh, they have twenty-two thousand to go, something like that. No, 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 no. Twelve thousand to go. Yes, yes, twelve thousand to go. Five days. So. If you want to get this one up there, you gotta you gotta do that groundswell real right quick. What do we got here? It's a top-down survival uh, survival horror game. It's got 3D graphics. It actually looks pretty um, pretty uh, neat from that uh, perspective. Uh, high fidelity. I imagine they put a little bit of work into the art on this one. Either that, or they got some really good assets. Uh, but let's see here. Choosing su choose survivors to do stuff. Looks like that gives you some unique abilities. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> and you got the loop. Travel. Get things. Gather more stuff. Fight things. And then you die. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like these guys have been around for a little bit. And they... But I would say if you want to see this guy, you know... Make it. 
make it to the end. You got to get in there. Show your support. You got a ways to go, so tell your friends. <laughs> now, we have something else here. Dun 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 I am a farmer supreme. Made by Sombrero Cat. I just like that name. Sombrero Cat. So, they describe this as a top-down pixel art game that mixes exploration and adventure Zelda-like and farming Sim, uh, Sim Harvest Moon style. So, I'm going to group all of that together because there is uh, there's a game in existence. There is a particular game in existence that you could uh, compare this to, uh, which is Rune Factory. Um, don't know what that is? Look it up. Um, anyway, this is... So, this is another Stardew Valley-style game, but it also has that Zelda thing, that adventuring aspect. So you actually go out and uh, do some adventuring as well as creating little, uh, as well as creating and tending to a farm, uh, and it looks, if I'm not mistaken, part of getting the elements that you need to do the farming requires you to go out and adventure, and so that creates the uh, that creates the loop. You go around gathering items, and then you come back home and you tend to your place. So let's see what they let's see what they highlight after I've said what I perceive just from looking at it. It's a farming simulation with world exploration. It's open world. It does have a non-linear storyline. Just got different ways to accomplish tasks. You don't have fighting abilities. You use different creatures or items to defend and attack. Use you use mini games to handle battles. You've got NPC trust relationship system. As expected. Uh, puzzle solving to unlock areas and items, and many different ways to play. I should note uh, the art style is particularly cute. Look at that. Mm, it just makes you want to cuddle. I mean, and uh, he looks like he doesn't want to be cuddled, but especially that corn husk. Look at that corn husk. Like, ah, get let go of me. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think I like this one. Ooh, they definitely have their social media on point. Look at all that. And okay. So, Sombrero Cat, making Farmer Supreme. They are at, they still need roughly 7,000 to reach their goal. Well, uh, 7,500 to reach their goal. 19 days to go. If you want to see a, uh, if you want to see an indie entry into that Rune Factory style experience, um, particularly, and I should note that this is unique to that for the fact that it is in that old school uh, old school feel, which I do like. Um, you know what to do. Get in there and support it, boyos. All right, so that's all I've got um, as far as the uh, Kickstarters that caught my interest uh, on this October 16th. But uh, I've probably missed a whole bunch of different things that are out there but if you're seeing this and you've got a kickstarter that you are either interested in or you want to support that's going live soon make a uh make a dm well dm me at redcoat on uh on the twitters it's either uh, redcoat or vernacular games on the twitters and uh, put the hashtag LiveStarter. That's hashtag LiveStarter. If I see enough of them, uh, if I see enough requests for these sorts of things, I'll probably do another one of these, looking at those, uh, looking at those Kickstarters that have been put forth or have been shown to me. Either case, even if I don't see enough requests, I'll probably do another one of these in November. Maybe. Eh, we'll see. But without further ado, uh, this was Redcoat, and this has been Live Starters. As always, play the games you want to play, boyos. This is Redcoat, signing off.